Hi, so today we are going to learn about ratio and proportion. So what is ratio? Ratio is actually a way to compare two quantities of the same kind. Suppose if you want to compare your height with your sister's height or your brother's height, you can compare. And suppose if you want to compare your weight with your sister's weight, you can compare. And suppose if you want to compare your marks in mathematics with your friend's marks in the mathematics, you can compare. But if you want to compare your height with your sister's weight, that is not allowed. Because you can compare two quantities only of the same kind. You can compare your height with another person's height. You can compare your weight with another person's weight. You can compare your marks with another person's marks. But no mixing, like uh, you cannot compare your marks with another person's height. That is not fair, right? So ratio is actually the comparison of two quantities of the same kind. And how do we compare? To compare the two values, we actually divide one by another and tell how many times the first value is of the second value. So how do we define ratio? Ratio is defined as the value obtained when two quantities of the same kind are compared by dividing one quantity with other. So what it is? Suppose if your height is suppose A centimeters and when we talk about your sister's height suppose it is B centimeter. So how do we find ratio? We divide A by B and suppose we get x then you can see my height is x times my sister's height and if this x is greater than 1 definitely a is greater than b and if this x is less than 1 that means a is less than b so in this fashion you can compare you can tell who is taller who is shorter or who has got more marks so this is how we compare two values of the same kind and what do we call it? Yes, we call it ratio. And there are a few more things which are very basics and we should know about ratios. Suppose if you are comparing two quantities A and B again. So the ratio of A is to B is written as A then these two dots are colon B. And it is read as A is to B. The ratio A is to B. right? And it is also written as in the form of fraction A by B and yes definitely you can treat it as a fraction. A is to B can be treated as a fraction when we talk about calculations or we do certain operations on the ratios. right? So this can be treated as fraction and the first term that means this term or this term is called as first term or it is also called as antecedent and the second term is called or referred as second term and it is also called as consequent and one more thing suppose if you have a beaker and then you have poured suppose b liters of water and after that you have poured suppose a liters of milk so this is milk and yes of course they will mix into each other and we'll get a homogeneous solution and what will be the volume of that solution yes the total volume in this case will be a liters of milk plus b liters of water so total volume will be a plus b and the ratio of milk as compared to the total volume of the solution will be a is to a plus b or it can also be written as a by a plus b and the ratio of water to the total amount of solution or the total volume will be b is to a plus b or it can also be written as b by a plus b. So this is how we find the ratio with respect to the total quantity or the total solution and suppose if we have a is equal to 15 and suppose we have b is equal to 20 then the ratio a is to b can be written as 15 is to 20 right or a by b is equal to 15 by 20 then this is this itself is correct but we should always write the ratio in the simplest form as we write the fractions into the simplest form so the highest common factor of 15 and 20 is 5 5 3s are 15 and 5 4s are 20 so the simplest form of this ratio is equal to 3 is to 4 which we can find by dividing both the antecedent and the consequent or the first term and the second term by the highest common factor of 
both the values right so this you should remember you should always use the simplest form of the ratio and you should always use the simplest form of a fraction because we get the smaller numbers and handling them will be very easy so this is one very important thing you should always use the ratios in the simplest form and how do we find it yes we can convert any ratio into its simplest form by dividing the first term and the second term by the highest common factor of both the values so this is one very important thing and now suppose if we have two ratios then how do we compare if you have seen my videos on comparison of fractions then you definitely know how to compare two fractions and that is exact the same method which we use to compare two ratios also so anyway we will revise it once again suppose we have two ratios like we have 3 is to 4 and we have suppose 7 is to 9 then which one is smaller and which one is bigger so here we have antecedent of the first and here we have the antecedent of the second this is 7 by 9 so what we do we will cross multiply it we will get 3 into 9 and here we will get 7 into 4 3 nines are 27 and 7 into 4 is 28. Since 28 is bigger than 27, that means this ratio 7 is to 9 is bigger than the ratio 3 is to 4. Or we can say 3 is to 4 is a smaller ratio than 7 is to 9. And what was the another method of comparing fraction? Yes, it was you make the denominators of both the fractions same and then you compare the numerators. So suppose if again I take 3 is to 4 and 7 is to 9 and I try to make their denominator same. So we have to find the LCM of 9 and 4 which will be the product of 9 and 4 because there are no common factors other than 1 between 4 and 9. So 36 will be the LCM. So to convert this into 36 we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator or antecedent and the consequent by 9 so this will be 27 by 36 and here we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4 so this will be 28 by 36 so again 28 is more than 27 so this fraction 7 by 9 or this ratio 7 is to 9 is bigger than or larger than the ratio 3 is to 4 so we got the same result so this was second method yeah there was one more method what we used to do is we used to make the numerator same and then we used to compare the denominators bigger the denominator smaller the ratio same way we can compare here also so in that case we have to find the lcm of 3 and 7 which will be 21 because both of them are co-prime so in first fraction i'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 7 so this will be 21 by 28 and the second fraction will be 21 by 27 so in this case this 27 is smaller than 28 that means again this fraction 21 by 27 is bigger than 21 by 28 that means the ratio 7 is to 9 is bigger than the ratio 3 is to 4 so these are three methods by which we can compare ratios they are exactly same as the comparison of fractions so if you want the detailed method of comparison you can see my videos on comparison of fractions so that's all for this video and after this we'll learn different types of ratios and we will also learn their properties so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then